They were installed to keep pedestrians safe and cut down on traffic on a busy road, but drivers are divided on whether they love or hate the potted plants that are now lining West Howard Avenue in Decatur. Yeah, since the planters were installed, drivers have plowed through several of them. Some love the so-called beauty they bring to the area. Others say they're just too dangerous. 11 Alive is where Atlanta speaks. So Caitlin Ross went out to talk to drivers about this debate, and it is decidedly a mixed bag. Sweetie, let me tell you. To hear Desiree Hall tell it, the problem is the drivers, not the plants. If they don't care anything about the pedestrians, what are they going to think about the planners? The soil has spilled all over the road at least twice in the past week when distracted or unaware drivers slammed into the planters. Two of them was down, I mean completely down. The manager of the gas station on West Howard saw the whole thing go down. Oh yeah, this one was pretty much in my parking lot. This one, see how damaged it was? Oh, and it happened at nighttime. He says his customers are evenly divided between those who hate the planters and those who love them. I like the planters because it looks like they're colorful. But colorful foliage to one driver means a near accident to another. And I'm gonna hit them the other night. I was coming down here. I never seen them like. I feel like they should not be right there because anybody caught can get messed up. You see my rim right there, I hit the curb the other day. The city says they're happy with the planters and have no intention of moving them. They bought them as part of a project to calm traffic in the area. They should be giving us the money. So how much did it all cost? The city says the planters cost $118,000. The contractor who restriped the roads was $163,000. But to redo the road would have cost the city around four million. Love or hate the planters, everyone agrees drivers should start protecting the investment. Because they will run them over, knock them over, tear them up, you know, and that's not fun. It is not fun. The Decatur newspaper Decaturish has been reporting on the plant saga for a few weeks now. And to give you an idea of just how many people are talking about it, they're now selling coffee mugs with a picture of the planters on them.